The warp tool in Photoshop allows you to drag control points and manipulate the shape of an image. So it might be a photograph, shapes, paths, or text as we're gonna apply here. First of all, select the image or the layer that you want to go through and warp. Then you're gonna to go to edit, down to transform, warp, and you can then change the warp effect. So I might apply bulge. So there's these basic uh, examples here. If you want more of a freehand uh, warping tool, I'll show you that shortly. You can change the orientation of it. You can change the intensity of the bend, the horizontal distribution, and the vertical distribution. Once you're happy with the result, you're then just going to apply it. As I said, um, if you want to have more of a freehand and more control of where the warping's occurring, I suggest using the other method, which is especially if it's text, a shape, or a path, you're going to need to change it to a rasterized image. So if, you've, if it's a vector-based image like text, rasterize that layer. It will appear as an image rather than a little text icon. And then I'm going to go to the same area, so transform, warp, and this time we'll apply this sort of grid over the uh, text or the image, and you can select the multiple points to go through and warp it. So it gives you greater control, and you can also select the handles to go through and move, and even the intersecting points are where that warp's occurring. Thank you.